the banners scream, we are all holy. Kulam Kuroshem, we are all holy. We are all the same. Moses, what are you doing? Why are you separating the nation into different tribes? Why does Levi have a special status? That's your tribe. These are the words of Korach, the cousin of Moses, launching into another attack against Moses' authority, Moses' ideology of following in God's will. We all heard God speaking in Mount Sinai. Why are you creating these levels of the nation within the nation? And Moses is left stunned by this approach. And the people are waving their flags. It's a popular uprising. People are feeling that Moses has let them down and Korach is the way to go. And in the tent, an unnamed woman, the wife of On Ben Pellet, listens to her husband coming home from the rally, saying, honey, you won't believe it. Korach is going to go to revolutionize the nation. We're all going to be equal. Kulam Kuroshim, he said. And his wife says to him, and what will happen? Well, says Go on, Korach will be the new leader, and we'll be his followers. Kulam Kuroshim. And his wife says, and what do you have now? Well, we have Moshe as the leader and Kulam Kuroshim. We all have our own roles and our own responsibilities and our own connection to God. So On's wife says to him, wait a second. So for you, nothing changes. The only one it changes for is Korach because he now becomes a new ruler. You have been caught up in this populism. You are now feeding Korach. And at the end of the day, you will be no better off. In fact, the fact that you're taking on Moses and fighting with Moses, who has the, the man who does the miracles from God, means that things will end up bad for you. And this, my friends, is the whole problem that we encounter in the story, but the problem we encounter within popular movements as well. When everyone starts screaming and shouting about climate change, about Palestinians, about you name the issue, and everyone comes out and they wave in their flags, and everyone gets emotionally involved in the situation, ask yourself the question, what will happen if they get their way? Will life be better or life be worse? Think about it. And let's be like the unknown heroine in the story, the wife of On Ben Pellet, who sees through all the talk, all the slogans for what really is happening. When we have university students on campus busy protesting and you ask yourself, so what are they protesting? What are the issues involved? And you listen and you listen and eventually you'll find the insidious, deep, dark undercurrent. And it's scary. So when you're seeing people protesting, I'm always reminded of the wife of Macbeth. When after she murders, she washes her hands. And she said, the, the comment in Shakespeare is, she protests too much. When you're hearing protests for one particular issue, one particular agenda, ask yourself, what is really happening over here? Is this the truth? Is this real? Or am I being swept up in a populist movement that has deep and dark roots. Korach ran his revolt. It took the wife of On Ben Pellet to save her husband from the consequences. Much to think about. Shabbat Shalom. Hi, this is Rabbi Lua, and if you've enjoyed the content of the sermons and the ideas that have been expressed in the YouTube video, please hit that first subscription button and notification bell and share the videos with friends. We'd love to grow the channel and love to engage with you. Please share your comments in the section below. I'd love to hear from you. Have an amazing day.